Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I think it's going to be a true triathlon course with a no real weakness allowed, um, you know, to be shown because it's it's an ocean swim, which is generally, even though we're Australian, we, we live around the ocean, uh, a lot of our races around the world aren't actually in the ocean, so we've got to contend with that, different currents, the waves, um, salt water, which a lot of them are fresh water, so that's a different factor as well. And then, and then on the bike, it's, it's very, very hilly, very sharp, steep hills as well, so that's um, quite a challenge. And then the heat and the run is uh, also going to be a challenge and a factor as well. So it was great that we could see it. Uh, it was great that I was able to put on a good performance as well, so that's given me confidence that this course will, uh, will actually suit to my strength. So, yeah, I'm actually really excited for the course. It, it's, it's something a little bit different to what we're used to, so it's, um, yeah, it's definitely going to throw up a... Uh, a few spinner in the works, as they say, and I think it'll um, definitely test uh, every athlete out there. Oh, yeah, undoubtedly was qualifying for the, the Olympic Games. It was, you know, this season had a few, a few ups and downs. I had swine flu early on, then I got tendonitis in my leg and then finished with a calf tear. So it was, it definitely had its hiccups, but I was able to get the body right for a few races throughout the year, which is was quite pleasing. But the highlight was definitely qualifying. Once I uh, had a few hiccups early on in the year, the, the main focus was just to qualify it. I've said it before, but it was uh, it was quite a f surreal feeling actually qualifying because I, I spent so much time actually dreaming of going to the Olympics, but never actually thought about what it would feel like if I qualified. So it was definitely a surreal feeling, but uh, it was uh, definitely a highlight of the year.